Fast and the Furious franchise is about one thing, it's about family. If it's about two things, then it's about family, and the continued sequels and spin-offs that escalate the action to ridiculous proportions. This is a series that's about as hard to slow down as a supercharged Dodge, because the series has no less than five upcoming entries. Let's take a look at what Dom and the gang have in store for us. Starting with Fast and the Furious Presents, Hobbs. At least that's the working title. Dwayne Johnson confirmed that his swole federal agent would be getting another standalone spinoff, and this one would leave behind Statham Shaw. However, he may still be teaming up with a grumpy former enemy. The rumor is that Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes will be joining Hobbs, and may even have his name on the subtitle. Of course, we still need another entry in the mainline series. The Fast and the Furious will be bringing us its 11th entry in the mainline franchise. Filmmaker Louis Leterrier, who directed the last film, has confirmed he is returning for the next entry. Vin Diesel has also announced that the 11th entry will hit theaters in April 2025, but that was before the continuing strikes. However, you know you can't keep Dom off the big screen for long. That reason is also why we are already set for the 12th entry. Less is known about this one, even with the franchise's history of making all the money, the series could still find itself tiring audiences and facing diminishing returns. Still, Vin Diesel is hopeful that the series will keep on rolling down the highway with a 12th and probably a 13th, a 14th, a 15th. What, it's not like Vin Diesel has the triple X franchise to fall back on. Of course, Vin Diesel isn't the only one who has a stake in this franchise. Dwayne Johnson also has plans to bring us even more Hobbs. Not only is there the planned standalone film for The Rock, but he also has plans to once again team up with British super criminal Deckard Shaw. After the success of the first film, a direct sequel was planned. However, various things like COVID and the strikes kept pushing production back. It's unknown if the direct sequel is still planned or if the Hobbs standalone is replacing this film, though something tells me we haven't seen the last of the bald British badass. The Fast and the Furious may seem like a boys club, but the franchise has introduced many ass-kicking women over the years, and it looks like they'll be getting their own feature. An all-female spin-off of the series is planned, and has been making some production headway. The film already has various screenwriters attached, and there is a long history of female characters who you can assemble for this team. Just don't leave Cypher alone with anybody's baby mama.